So this right here is called projection. And if you're dealing with a narcissist, it's going to be a very, very common theme. And what I mean by projection is a narcissist will put onto you what they're actually doing or they'll say you have a problem when it actually belongs to the narcissist the person in your life hey your parents were terrible you had a terrible mom a terrible dad and a terrible home life when in all actuality it was a narcissistic person that had exactly what they just accused you of having and projection happens a lot of times in toxic narcissistic relationship y'all it, ju it just does it's one of the ways that a narcissist will kind of confess to you because they'll project some stuff out of the blue hey why are you where you going are you what are you leaving the house for are you, are you are you cheating on me you're like literally just going to the store or something like that or going to the gym they'll be like like projection sometimes is confession so sometimes a narcissist projections are just happen to be you know that person's confessions they're, they're confessing to you by accusing you of it if you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person whatever they're accusing you of kind of look deeper into it what is going on beautiful people welcome to another episode of a narcissist explains i am self-aware diagnosed narcissist lee hammock and i use my platform on social media to raise awareness for npd get more people into therapy like myself and to validate the victims and survivors of said disorder um this, this series is dedicated to making my tiktoks and youtube shorts longer they are 60 seconds or less this is gonna be a lot longer than 60 seconds uh, okay so the tiktok you just watched was about how a um where did it go so Projection, how narcissists project the things that they have been through, the things that they are doing onto you, onto their significant other, onto their mom, onto their dad, onto, you know, onto whoever they're dealing with, onto their coworkers, whoever is in close proximity. You get a lot of nar narcissists will project upon you. I'm not talking about projectile, like vomiting and stuff like that. I mean, projecting, and that's a good way to describe it, though, projectile vomit. Like how they, you see how it comes from, it comes from inside of them onto you. That's how that's where projection pretty much is other, but except for except it's not vomit, it's lies, it's manipulation, it's cheating, it's bad parenthood. So this this person in question, she said, the woman, yeah, she said, oh, my God, yes, he brings up my parents when his parents were no role models. So you see right there, that's projection. Like sometimes people could go through like they'll say your parents were terrible parents. You, 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 and your mom was a, a street walker, and your dad was a, uh, you know, he was a street walker too. So you listen to that, you hear that type of stuff right there, and you might actually think that you're dealing with some street walkers. You may, but in all actuality, you look into your significant other's past, and actually, their mom was a street walker, their dad was a street walker, or gigolo, or whatever. They had a terrible childhood. Their mom and dad was toxic. They got abused and things like that. They want, they put it onto you. They do. So if you sometimes you you get a narcissist that just just outright you know just accusing you of the most heinous stuff if it's out of nowhere like you can't explain it where it came from it's to, it might be projection like why did this person keep accusing me of cheating on them when i literally don't go anywhere but home and work but i we i am not help take care of the kids i'm doing all of this stuff I, 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 the only place i go to is home and work and somehow i have all this time to cheat look into their life look into their lives because like i said in the video sometimes projection can be a confession it's just like sometimes the the guilty conscience of a and people are, narcissists do have consciences y'all y'all be like narcissist but bleed let me stop you right there <laughs> you were on look you were going good we like the projection we were we like we were, we were rocking with you and then you said the narcissists have consciences and that's when i had to stop right there because no way in hell did that narcissistic monstrous robotic snake demon jezebel person i deal with did they have a conscience Narcissists have consciences, y'all. They just do. So when you're dealing with a narcissist and that, and that, that guilt, the spectrum of guilt, because they don't feel guilty, they blame you for it. When it builds up, it bubbles up to the surface, and it, it, that bubble pops, and it comes out as it comes out as an accusation. So they can fed the accusation sometimes, which is projection upon you, can also be a confession. It just can. They might be confessing to cheating by accusing, constantly accusing you of it. And then guess what? If you catch them cheating. They'll just use the excuse like, I told you, I thought you were cheating, so I didn't want to look stupid if you found out, if, if I found out you were cheating. So it's kind of your fault. Boo, 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 beep, 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 blah, 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 blah. You see how that goes right there. You end up getting blamed anyway. You can't escape the blame. You can't escape the, you know, the, the point of the finger point. You can't escape it. It's part of you now. Welcome. And that's why I tell people all the time, this is you. This is your life. Well, if you don't want to leave this person, if you want to stay with this person, this now right now what you're dealing with this is your life if you want to stay this is your life the only and you have to realize that the only thing that you can change is yourself 
You don't have the power to change the other person. You just don't. You don't have the power. I don't have the power to change other people. I'm working on it. I'm just joking. Um, I'm just joking. I don't have the power to control other people. Narcissists, that, that, that's, they salivate. They want to control other people. That's why people want to go back to the 70s and 80s when dating times, when people can leave. It's about control. You know, um, let's go back to the 70s and 80s when women had to sit in the house and they had to listen to me. They couldn't leave. You can just up and leave. You can outgrow your man, right? You can out you can outgrow your man. You had you can be his equal. You had to stay, and you needed him. And I want to be needed, and I want to control you. Beep 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 boop boop boop. You see how that goes? But now, the only thing that you know, you, the only thing you can really change in your life is you. That's the only thing you have power over controlling y'all. You can't change that person you're dealing with. You just can't. I think y'all need to let that go. To the part of you about you trying to change them, you can't do that. How do you stop projection? Realize where it's coming from. Like, if you know that person, project. I feel like if you feel like it's projection, start asking questions. Why do you keep accusing me of cheating? Are you cheating? And if they, their response will tell you everything that you need to know. If they're not cheating, typically they'll be like, no, I'm not cheating. I just feel like, man, it's just weird. You're acting weird here lately. If they blow up on you, that's a red flag. They blow up on you, it's a red flag. Because... A guilty, a guilty narcissist will squill on themselves. So if you accuse, like you tell, you can tell when a narcissist is guilty, because if they project onto you and you question them about, hey, are you cheating on me? You keep, I feel like you're cheating on me. You're like, why do you keep, why do you keep assuming I'm cheating on you? Are you cheating on me? That's a simple no. Instead of just saying no, they blow up on you like, Rawr! I dare, how dare you accuse me of cheating on you? I love you. I only love you. I do all this stuff for you. Rawr! No one screams louder or gets angrier than a guilty narcissist. The, the, the reaction is not equivalent. It's gr always going to be great, way greater than the accusation or the observation with a narcissist. It just is. That's how it works, y'all. If you accuse them of something that they're guilty of, they'll explode on you. They'll meet you with rage. Like, why the hell are you so mad? You just accused me of cheating. I say it back and I get yelled and screamed at. What the hell? Are you really cheating? Like, no. Do some investigating. Take your time. Take your time. And now it's time to investigate because they just told it themselves. I've done an old video and I might have to redo that one. No one gets guilt. No more gets angry. No one gets angrier than a guilty narcissist. That's just it right there. So people need to stand. You need to stand in your truth and take your power back. You just have to because if you don't, yo, if you've already, heard, if, if especially if that person has cheated on you before, if they're already, you know, cheated to you, cheated on you before, lied to you before, stole money before, you know, back to watching, you know, corno. Where's corn? Lee, what is corno? Do you actually eat corn on the O? No. Replace that C with a P. You get what I'm saying? I just wanted the video to get censored. Um, they're back to watching corno when they promised they wouldn't. They have a sep separate phone. They got a work boyfriend or a work girlfriend, work husband, work wife, whatever. Work non-binary partner. You mean work partner. Whatever. You know what I mean? So they have all this type of stuff. It's like, start asking questions. Some of y'all are scared. Like, if you feel like you're scared to ask questions, you're in a wrong, wrong relationship. I said, wrong. How the hell did I put an L in wrong? How did I just say that? W-R-L-O. How the hell did I just say that? My tongue. I, my tongue was twisted. Wrong? I can't say it. See, I can't even try to say it. I just said it out loud on the first time accidentally. But I can't even try to say it. You know what I mean? So if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, y'all, like, so if you if you are dealing with toxic, this is a, this is a telltale sign that you're in a toxic relationship. Are you scared to ask questions? If you're scared to ask questions because you're going to get blown up on, that's a... That's a red flag right there. Wave it. Wave it. Wave. I'm waving. I'm going to keep waving this thing too, y'all. I'm going to put this in my car. I'm going to be on the road today. Um, yeah, that's a red flag right there. So what do you, like I said, y'all, something, is it your fear of being by yourself? Why are you still here? If it's a fear of being by yourself, I know, the, so I know the trauma bond. You're like, leave trauma bond. Hey, got your trauma bond. You didn't mention it. Yeah, I know trauma bond exists, but ask yourself why are you still here? Like, are you scared to be by yourself? What's the main reason? Are you scared to be by yourself? Are you scared that this person that you're, that you're with right now, they're going to treat somebody else better? What is the point? What are you doing here? You know what I mean? So ask yourself that question right there. I feel like a lot of people are scared to voice their opinions and scared to ask questions in relationships. And if you're scared and you don't have a voice, you lose. I'll just let you know that straight up. Straight up right now, you lose. If you don't talk in your relationship, and you, if you can't communicate in your relationship, you lose. That's just it right there. I hope y'all understand. I want, and I want people to win. Lee, do you get supply from this? I only get supply. I don't even know what supply really means, y'all. People are like, it's fuel. But don't people, don't y'all get happy when you make other people's happy? When you contribute to somebody else winning, don't you win? I just like, I just, I don't know. 
but I only get supply when I help people win. If you come to me and just like, I lost Lee, I went back and I got abused, now I'm pregnant. Or I get, now, Lee, I got a pregnant. I'm like, y'all think that gives me supply? That takes it away. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. Reject the project. Re rejection for projection, okay? Like I said, when, if the, the, if the reaction is greater than the accusation, or the or, or the you know the observation guilt is right there like and subscribe for more y'all if y'all made it this far i'm super thankful for y'all like and subscribe for more you know turn on notifications i'm going live here more often mental illness is out peace